Yes, Sir Theodore. Um, you can change... Yeah, you can change the color and you can change the name. But in addition to that, you also get to change what skills the character has equipped. So you can... They have like seven skills total and you can only equip four of them. And so you can pick which ones they learn and level them up and then you can also do the same with their camping skills moreover there's equipment um, in weapon armor and trinket and then also they have quirks which is where a lot of the customization comes in where they get these positive and negative aspects about them so for example um, Joe the boy has this ruminator thing going on where he doesn't heal very well from stress he is more stressed against humans and he hits worse against humans and he has a guilty conscience um, because he bears the crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined I mean how rough is that right but on the other hand we have all these positive traits and a lot of this game in terms of the customization <laughs> yeah I know what you mean Sir Theodore that's where I'm at um, comes from Picking characters that get good quirks. It is some serious PTSD, and it's also, like, imaginary PTSD. It's crazy. Like, this is... Po like, these are all good. And so you try to get characters that have very, very good quirks, and then also pick which skills you want and then where you want to put them in terms of the position of the party. But it's... Um, it's a game where it's also like very, very roster deep because your people start to get really stressed out and there's no way to heal that primarily um, or majorly except in town. So you kind of have to like rotate your party a lot. Now, I will say, um, oops, wrong thing. Let me look at this. Joe the boy only has one trinket and we actually have some trinkets in the inventory so we have this trinket which is um 10 percent stun skill chance and 20 percent stun resist for minus four dodge and i think this is pretty good for joe the boy and then this one is 15 percent bleed skill chance and that's terrific for the flagellant so i'm actually going to equip these trinkets that I got and the other thing that's nice about equipping these um, is that it opens up spaces in your inventory here this is a limited yeah exactly JR this is a limited inventory you only have 16 slots and they become very very competitive and so freeing them up so you can maximize what treasure you take out becomes a game within itself all right, so let's keep going. We're going to get into a fight in a second, so we want to make sure our torch is, like, maxed up. There we go. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Dodged the stress attack. Oh, yeah, JR. That ruby is going nowhere. That's about the most you can get in one slot. Also, if I get another ruby, it will stack on top of that, which is why gemstones are so good. You can see I actually have two jade in that one slot. All right, so the shaman already went. So let's think about hitting the groupers. That's that's hitting the grouper. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting some serious cash. I mean, we ran out of money, JR, so getting any money is so important. All right, now let me go ahead and... Oh, what do I want to do with this? I'm going to try to stun this guy. See what happens. All right, good. We got him stunned. And then now we can just... Uh... Oh, okay, JR. That must explain it. And then when I first logged on, I powered up these people significantly. No that makes sense. Thank you for reminding me about that. And we'll just Their knock this dude out. Alright, so... The now it's just a matter of hitting this guy in the back. 
And we can do that very easily. I'm gonna just give him light. And then now he's got a big... He loses his turn. Oh, cool, JR. I hear Apex Legends is really good. I haven't gotten around to giving it a shot yet. I am terrible at first-person shooters. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. Um, oh, that actually worked. Generally, that's great, JR. That is so good. Um, I love when you find a game that's really fun and you can just jam out on it. Usually when you stun an enemy, they their stun resist goes up a lot. Um, so they're hard to, like, you can't, like, stun lock something forever. But that, it just worked out for us. So let's just hit him. Free trial on Outriders, Chris. But you're not interested? I don't even know what Outriders is. What kind of a game is it, dude? Boom. Two busts and a bunch of herbs. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh, it's an FPS, Chris. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like... Uh, by the way, good evening, Chris. How you doing, my friend? Um, I just... I stink at them. I'm better when the game is slow and I can be strategic. It's a looter shooter like Destiny Fading. I see. I see. I do like looting. You know, I like Borderlands. That's about the, the most I'll try. Yeah, Destiny seems cool. I just, um, I played the, the first one for a second, and then they completely overhauled it, and I haven't In Radiance, tried it since. Victory. Boom, we got a torch. We'll take a torch. That's right. Okay, great. Um, so we made it through, and we are about to get into a room that has nobody in it, and that's fine. I always like these empty rooms. All right, so we need to go to both places. Uh, let's go up, because I might have to camp out. I don't know. We'll see how I go how it goes. Um, we're gonna definitely open this. Ooh, stashed heirlooms. Yes. Wow, we get some crests? That's so nice. Oh my. There they are. But we got them surprised. Sweet. You're getting Destiny 2 with that boss new PC you're getting? Well, that makes sense. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. That sounds like a good plan. Bitcoins are nothing to sneeze at. Gunfire Reborn fading? That sounds cool. Co-op with randomized power-ups and weapons. Yeah, those Bitcoins aren't going anywhere. I mean, there's literally a finite amount of them, and they, uh... They seem very safe. And valuable. I love getting a new PC, and then getting a whole bunch of games and just seeing how good they run on it. It's so much fun. Alright. I'm just gonna stun this dude. Bam. And then... Let's go ahead and... Uh, blind this dude. He's stunned. Great. And then... I'm gonna put the hurt on this guy. Oh, yeah. Executed. That is it. He's dead. I love that. See, that's one of my favorite things about this game, is just how good it is when you get a crit. Like, the fact that, um... Hey, Thudding Horns, what's up, my friend? I know, I love this game, too. I had, um, been playing it and putting some, uh, videos up on the channel, and then I took a break because YouTube was copyright, uh, you know, telling me that all the videos were copyrighted, um, because of the music, and so I just decided to play it, but without the music, because it's still so much fun. Um, now, hold the phone, JR. It's, yeah, I was going to say, it's gone up, dude. It's gone up. They're crazy. I think 
um, Tesla bought a whole bunch, and so this, the value went up even higher. All right. Um, these dudes are stunned, and this guy's going to die from the dot. So let's just see if I can kill this guy with finish him. Almost. Almost got him. Death by Honestly, zealous accusation just does this at this point. Ah, he always... It's, it's inevitable. It's such garbage. This guy's speed must be insane. Like, they both got to go before me. I stunned him out, but couldn't... I need to make sure I kill this guy because he always gets to go before my party. Oof. So brutal. All right. Well, whatever. Confidence surges Take that. The enemy crumbles. We'll kill him. It's not a difficult. I just didn't want to get that big stress hit. Ooh, look at that. Another ruby. Yes. Mount, so too will resistance. Ooh, fading. That's a great point. I should have thought about that. So if I hook him forward, um, I actually... Yeah, because enemies can't use certain abilities from position their own positions just like you and so you can like mess with their position to invalidate them from using certain abilities and i should have done that right there that's a great point well let's do that in the future all right we got another anti-venom and we got another ruby look at all that money that is a delight so much money but this dude is taking a beating he's nearly dead That's me, by the way. I'm taking a beating. I'm going to have to eat a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to die. I'm not ready. Okay, so um, pe the peacock has 100% trap disarm. So let's just get close enough. All you have to do is inch forward toward this trap until it glows. And then now you can interact with it. You make sure you have your person with the best trap disarm selected, which is the bounty hunter in this case, and then you just click on it and you disarm it. It actually is great because it, you know, he just got hit with that stress hit, but disarming a trap relieves eight stress. So that actually worked out okay. You know, that mitigates that significantly. If you're curious, you cannot disarm traps unless you can see them, and you can only see them if you scout them. All right, so now we're going into a room with a fight. Let's do it. All right, hopefully we surprised them. We did not. Stress waving us. That's fine. We'll get a little stress. Oh, God, there's two stress people. Ooh, boy. Poor Xanimo. Nice dodge. Nice dodge, Joe. All right. Well, for the first time, we actually have two people in the back row. This is when the Plague Doctor really shines. Both of these jerks have already gone, unfortunately, but I'm still going to stun them. So they can't do their thing next turn. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, this dude hasn't gone, but he's like a big hulking tank, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to try to kill this brawler as fast as I can because he does uh, a pretty serious amount of damage. Let me just... Oh... Darn. All right. Hit him. There you go. I'll do it. All right. So he's now guarding the damage for that guy, which is less than ideal. Okay. We're going to go ahead and... Um, what's your stun resist now? 60? It's not actually that amazing. I'm going to disorienting blast this dude clear the corpse and move them around. Um, it didn't really move them around like I wanted, but okay. Uh, let's go ahead and try to finish this. This is 7 plus 5, and you... Oh, we're so close to, to killing. Okay. Um, let me try this hook and see if... Now, it won't... It might reposition, but it won't do any damage because this guy is actually guarding this one. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to try to pull forward. Oh, no, it worked. Maybe he can't guard because he's stunned? I don't know. Um, all right. I need to... This is fine. Ah! Okay. 
let's see. You're going to take one. I need to uh, do plague grenade just to kill this so it doesn't um, doesn't hit us with its stress thing. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. And then uh, just put the bleed on the big guy. Uh oh. They're just single handedly only targeting the number two character. Never targeting the person in the front. It is. That is. That's the game for you, though. That is how it rolls. It's that kind of. That kind of mean. Alright, please. Uh, let's see. What's the accuracy base? 90, 90. Please. Oh my gosh, that's two dodges in a row. Okay, well, that's okay. We got Zealous Accusation. That's why that ability exists. All right, perfect. And then he's going to bleed for five. He's got eight. We got this. But when you get low, what's cool is you can do this, right? And so this heals the character, which is great. So we'll just exsanguinate. Actually, wait, wait, wait. This one... Um, let me see this. What is the difference? This actually does damage and then hits the enemy, and then this one just heals, I think. So let's hit. And then, yeah, look at that. Full heal. Boom. That's, that's how that character rolls. See, this is the thing, like, I just have to get more used to the fact that this character, you kind of live on the edge because... Um, they get low, but then they can, once they're below 40% health, they can start using those abilities to heal up. And it's, and it's really, really powerful. Uh, I don't think I want to do anything. Whatever. Throw that there. Bam. Uh. So oh, fine. Got it. Well, it keeps... Relieve some stress. This That's great. Expedition at least promises success. Okay. Terrific. So we got some deeds here. We're going to take these deeds all day long. I'm probably going to ditch the bandages um, at this point. Actually, I could eat all the food. No, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to pitch these bandages and take these and then we will um, light a torch and be happy now there's this tentacle that we can interact with remember these curios uh, let's see if I know what it requires um, holy water so it looks like holy water ha uh, will do something good here don't discredit the high women yeah you're absolutely right, Thudding Horns. The Highwayman is unreal. Um, the only reason I'm not using my Highwayman right now is because he has leveled up. I have Dismiss, the guy from the beginning, and he's level 3, so he's a veteran and he won't come on these apprentice quests. But, like, he can just... He's, they, yeah, such a boss. Can handle stuff all by himself, pretty much. We purified the altar. And, oh, look at that. He lost his claustrophobia. That's cool. So he, um, it cured him of one of his negative quirks. That's actually pretty amazing. Nymphomania. Yeah. Well, he's really good in the brothel. If you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, great. Well, that was a pretty good outcome. Let's head over here. We gotta go here first. Hey, Crowan! Good evening, my friend. I know, isn't that funny? Um, it, it, that was the play of the game right there. It's just like looking at uh, Peacock's Nymphomania. We gotta tell him that on the Discord that uh, he's got a, a quirk that we know about his quirk. He's also irrepressible, which is pretty funny when, it, when you combine these two. He's irrepressibly nymphomaniacal just amazing you'll learn a lot about people in this game 
By the way, um, fading, Sir Theodore, Crow and Thudding Horns, you're all about to get added into this craziness. Once I get back, um, I will name people on the roster after you, so... <laughs> it's a dubious honor, but it needs to happen. Hey, John Shriver, what's up, my friend? How you doing? Playing some, uh, playing some Darkest Dungeon here. You're gonna get a character too, John, just for, just for speaking up, whether you want it or not. That is a good question, Sir Theodore. I don't know if any of the quirks are specific to the character class or not. Awesome, John. Well, why don't you hang out with us and share the misery of Darkest Dungeon? Oh, gosh. Okay, so I think I can turn this into food with the medicinal herbs. Let me light a torch. And let's just check this out. Yeah. A stuffed sea creature has washed ashore. Wonder what ate it. Gross. Oh, we're going to eat it, Sir Theodore. The key is you put the medicinal herbs on it. It just takes a bunch of spices. Oh, that's a good point, Fading. So Fading is saying, like, I can just save this. The curios stay, right? And so I know I'm going to use medicinal herbs on this to turn it into some medicinal seasoning. That's right, Conrad. Some delicious medicinal seasoning. <laughs> oh, okay, Crowan. Thanks for that. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, so, um, I could save some food. However, without, let me see, um, yeah, let's save it. I can also just eat food with people who are hurt to make space for the food. Um, but we'll just save it for when we come back because we need to get it anyway. And let's just see what happens in this battle. Nothing is going to happen for the rest of this hallway until the battle. So that's pretty good. All right, the torch is down one level. I'm maximizing the torch. I like to a blazing star is go born. with max torch. Um, the reason I like to go with max torch, even though it gives you less treasure, is because it gives you a very high chance of uh, dodging and surprising the enemy. Yeah, the plague doc is not having a great time of it. The other thing is, some of these characters... Um, I think it's Joe the Boy... Like, they have bonuses if the... To like, Joe the Boy does 10% more damage if the torch is above 75%. Um, so... It's really, really good. <laughs> Thudding Hordes, you got it, my friend. You got it. You see what Thudding Hordes is, is talking about here. Um, yeah, you're right. She is a Plague Doctor. And, um, you know, she is going to get a little bit stressed at the horrors that she sees on the medieval operating table 